All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, bodybuilding, yes, bodybuilding talk. Guys, you enjoyed my last video where I explained how I built my legs back in the day when I used to be a bodybuilder. Not only am I an ex vegan, but I'm an ex bodybuilder as well. Guys, you liked the video, and therefore today I want to talk about how I built my shoulders back in the day. It is a simple trick that I applied back in the day and I saw nobody in the gym doing it for whatever reason. Many people always ask me about my shoulder development. I had tremendous delts, cannonballs, right? That was one of my strengths. But before I continue and tell you how I built those delts, I want to let you know that yes, it is genetic predisposition, no matter what anybody tells you. I was killing myself in the gym and my biceps wouldn't grow. And listen, I applied every single technique to it. I will tell you how I developed my arms in the end. I started out with 26 centimeter biceps. Absolutely ridiculous. I had smaller arms than my ex-girlfriend. Anyways, not the topic. Bobby, stop ranting. It is about shoulders. Guys, every time I would go to the gym, I would see people do all kinds of isolated exercises for delts. Front raises, lateral side raises, rear delt, whatever the hell. All of those isolated movements, machine after machine and whatnot. For me, it became obvious quickly that what I need to apply is the same technique that I applied for legs and for chest. I didn't want to treat the deltoid muscle any other way. People told me, yeah, but it's a small muscle group. It doesn't really matter, right? Every time you do the back or the chest, you will work out the delts as well. So therefore, don't even worry about it, man. Why would you do any heavy movement for the delts? You do not need to. All you need for the delts would be some sort of isolated raising exercise. But that is not the truth, guys. It's not the truth at all. You have to treat every muscle in a similar fashion, especially if you want to build mass. If you want to build mass, we all know what we need. We need heavy lifts. And therefore, to give you the secret, what I did is this. I looked around and I saw people doing simple push exercises, one at a time. And then they went into those isolating exercises. What I did is the same technique that I applied for chest. First. I start with a flat bench and then I go to the incline bench and then I go to the butterfly, right? One isolated movement, two heavy compound lifts. Exactly. That's what I did. I started with dumbbell raises and then I did the same thing with the barbell. Yes, sometimes I would use a machine as a second exercise, but the key is to have two push exercises. And that was about it. Then from there out on, after you completed the two push exercises, yes, then it is about time to move forward and to do the shoulder raises, to do the shrugs, to do the rear delt. Maybe you want to do the front delt, which I kind of disagree with. The front delt is actually the muscle that you always train with the chest. But the middle head the core of the shoulder gets only stimulated and provoked to tremendous growth through push exercises. This is how it goes. And therefore, guys, this is all I can give you. Honestly, you will have to apply the main lifting, the main building exercises to every muscle of yours. If you do two push exercises for chest, which you should, apply the same to shoulders. Simple as that. Only like that, I made my shoulders explode. Really, the growth that I saw on my shoulders due to that exercise was tremendous. And guys, I use that principle on people that are not genetically gifted as well. And they had tremendous results on their shoulders. As I said, of course, it is due to genetic predispositions that we can grow certain muscles even faster. But in all honesty, even with people that didn't got great shoulder genetics, this principle worked. You will have to keep the isolating movements last. It is about perfection. It is about stimulating the muscle in another fashion to pump in even more blood and to 
optimize certain areas if you have certain flaws but especially in the beginning it is about putting on mass in bodybuilding you cannot start to chisel away your physique if you are 60 kilos it is about building your body and putting on meat for that of course you should eat meat in the first place and on top of that you should do heavy push exercise all right so this already it just a quick tip for today really try it out apply it it is about muscle failure in those push exercises if you can get a training buddy i will get into that in another video if you liked this quick talk about bodybuilding let me know in the comment section i'm keen to do more of this kind i love talking about bodybuilding but through veganism and all of that jazz i kind of got away from bodybuilding and I didn't feel entitled, if you will, to talk about that topic. So let me know in the comments if you want to see more of this. Guys, again, a little public service announcement. If you find yourself on Amazon, you want to buy something, hey, use our affiliate link. It doesn't cost you anything. You can just go through the portal. With that, you support Bobby's perspective. On top of that, a little side note again here, I am listing my Fiverr services my technological services if you will of thumbnail and video editing or graphic design in general if you might want to start a youtube channel and you like the look of bobby's perspective or maybe you're looking for something totally different don't hesitate to contact me and i can design your website i can design your thumbnails i can design your videos as well all right guys but this is it for today if you like the video, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And as always, guys, much love and peace.